Hey, this is DJ Wolf again. Uh, give me a second. I got to get a little switch so I can get ready to talk. Now I'm ready to talk. You know, it's funny. All these years, or the last several years, we've had hundreds uh, of innocent black African Americans, predominantly male, Instantly, instantly murdered by uh, police officers with a happy trigger. And others, like uh, George Zimmerman, who wasn't even a cop, the mother was a whatever the hell he was. And he got away with murdering an innocent 17 year old young man. Just because he thought he was doing something. Among others. Uh, I forgot the guy, the officer's name. I don't want to uh, uh, missay his name. Because I want to, you know, but anyway. The officer who uh, killed uh, Eric Garden choked him to death. On camera. And walked. The officer killed Mike Brown and walked. Shot him six times in the back. Or shot him six times. Killed him. He walked. All the way to the officers who shot Stefan Clark. You know, I just got finished listening to uh, a feed. Uh, played by uh, you, a YouTuber just now. Where the white women were so joyful, joyous about Cosby being convicted. At the, the end of the day, there are no winners here, period. There really ain't. Whether you think they are or not. And, and, uh, what's really messed up? Them same women are the same women who didn't get upset when the guys I just mentioned, including Dylan Roos punk ass, killed innocent black people who are minding their own fucking business. And Dylan Roof has yet to be convicted. That shit happened almost four years ago. Well, three years ago, actually. I'm sorry. You know? he. I don't even think he's been on trial. Cosby, they had no problem getting him on trial. He was on trial within two years. A little less than that, actually. You know. But these same white women who jumped up for joy when Cosby get convicted aren't the same white women or white people who get upset when officers get off on killing innocent black people. Ain't that a bitch? You know? Like Dr. King said, injustice here is injustice everywhere. You know? In other words, it don't change. It's all the same. You know? And I'm supposed to sit there and, and, and say, oh, it couldn't be possible that all these women could have been lying? Yes, all the women could have been lying. You know? They've been lying on brothers for 400 plus years. They've been brutalizing and raping and killing brothers for 400 years. And uh, white people, uh, the majority of white people never got convicted. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to just say, yeah, you're right, Cosby did it. No, I ain't saying that shit. I saw the dateline to our special, my damn self. Half them women don't even believe what, what they were saying on there. And some of them even admit that they didn't believe that, 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 that it wasn't true or that they really wasn't uh, uh, accused of Cosby or anything. They just said, oh, there's one woman just on the tomorrow. Oh, I just ate him for two years. She admitted to having the farewell, but that's all she did. She, But yet they had her on the panel tomorrow. She was one of the women who got drugged and raped. And she she totally contradicted what they were saying. You know? So there's a lot of false bullshit being uh, submitted about uh, the whole Cosby uh, shenanigans as far as I'm concerned. He hasn't been known to have affairs, but this other mess of disposal of, of him being accused of doing this for 40 some odd years I'm not buying it I'm sorry I am not 
I ain't going with y'all narrative. Ain't going to fucking do it. You know? Ain't going to fucking do it. There's no concrete evidence of it. But they just say, oh, well, he had a habit of doing so. Maybe he must have done it. That's what somebody just said on him a minute ago. I said, are you fucking kidding me? It's just, it's atrocious the way they, they you know, they try to uh, throw everything under the bus when it comes to us about everything. No matter what kind of evidence they got. They willing to do it. Do you know there was a story, wasn't a story, it really happened, but it was a true story that I read about a young boy, I don't think he was 15 years old, who they uh, sentenced to death for a crime not only he committed, they, 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 for a crime that he did commit, but it was just something about, oh, I think it was about, I don't remember, it was in the 40s. He was executed. By the state, I forgot where it was. I'm gonna look it up. I seen it. I seen it before. I read it before. I don't know if I read it online, but I read. I, I, I seen it somewhere. And he didn't do anything. He was instantly, instantly executed like a man. He was a kid. He knew shit. Damn shame, man. The look on his face made you cry, man. It, you know, no matter what. Black men have always been above, you know, on, on the radar for 400 years. And we continue to do so. No matter what. No matter what. It aches my heart every time I think about this shit. It really do. You know what you it used to bother me back in the day. People, I'm like, why'd you smile sometimes? Why you smile? He used to hear black people say all the time, more, more than anybody. I said, because I don't feel like it. These are one of those many days I don't feel like it. Period. A woman, a woman just got in my face and like, be happy you got a job. And of course, at the time, I wasn't the cuss down people like I, I would now because I'm a little older and don't have as much patience. I would have told her, bitch, please. I'm saying this now. A big, bitch, please. I ain't worried about that shit no more. I'm going to say what's on my damn mind. I'm tired of this mess, man. Everybody else can say what's on their mind and, and, and make false accusations about people in our culture all the time and get away with this shit and continue to do so even now. But I ain't supposed to say any damn thing. Are you out your fucking mind? Please, I'm gonna say what's on my mind, whether you like it or not. I'm gonna say what I got to say about what I got to say. Period. End the story. Point blank. Shit ain't right, man. And people continue to get away with the butter biscuits all the time and keep on bullshitting all the time. I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm tired of it.